glory, glory. Welcome, welcome, remnant warriors. I want to tell you I'm jumping on right now. The Holy Spirit told me to jump on right now because the Spirit of God is flowing right now. The song of the Lord is flowing right now from the Ancient of Days, and I'm going to release it. And as I release the song of the Lord in Hebraic sound, I want you guys to begin to share with other warriors get them on here we're gonna really dive in and at 9 30 right now it is 9 20 but right now i need to release this and tonight is going to be all about interceding for your family your loved ones god is speaking tonight and he says prevailing winds my prevailing winds are blowing my prevailing Wins, and we're going to dive into that word prevail. We know that the word of the Lord stands firm, and the word of the Lord shall prevail from behind the veil, from the throne room, from the secret place of the Most High God. I want everybody to begin to start sharing. Hit the share button. Normally, I do not say this. But please, please, tonight is going to be a powerful night. The Spirit of God said to release this, to release this. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys time, but I'm going to release this right now. He na 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 na
Glory, glory, glory. Everyone that's coming on right now. I'm looking right now and I'm going to continue to flow. The Spirit of God is going to move over you tonight and over your family. And we are going to strike the keys. We are going to strike the keys for doors to open over your life tonight. Because God said for me to come on and decree his prevailing winds. His prevailing winds. Elohim El Shaddai El Shalom Eh Shana Beda Rasame Renda Beda Resanai Runda Rana Mekianai Eda Nara Beda Nai Eda Nara Nai Holy Spirit's gonna move in a powerful way. I want everybody to have time to come in tonight and posture your heart. Posture your heart tonight before the Spirit of God. Because His prevailing winds are going to blow tonight. His prevailing winds are going to blow tonight. And I'm going to release His word that He had me post just uh, about 30 minutes ago. And I'm going to release that and, and decree that over this time of prophetic worship tonight before the throne room. But God wants to release his Hebraic sound. The great I am, the great I am, Hashem, Hashem, Elohim Adonai. Elohim Yahweh, era na 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 na, the Holy One of Israel, era na 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 na. See this sound, the Hebraic sound from our forefathers, from our ancestors, from the seed of Abraham is not released in the church in the way that it needs to be released. It is the breath of Yahweh. It is the breath of Elohim. It is the breath of Aleph. It is the breath of Aleph. It is the breath of Aleph. It is the breath of Aleph, where we are literally anchored in quiet strength and stillness before the Lord. And tonight I decree that the Spirit of God is going to anchor so many of you as you begin to experience the wind of God. And this wind again is his prevailing winds. God began to speak and again I'm going to move and release this. And the Lord began to take me to a scripture that he's never taken me to before in Genesis chapter 7. And we're going to release this because this is going into your house. This is going into your house. This is going into the White House. This is going into the courts. This is going into many houses, many governing houses, many branches. It's going into branches in the nations, but it's going into the ecclesia. It's going into the ecclesia. The prevailing winds is going into the ecclesia to branch out. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to continue to release this. I want to welcome everybody here. 
Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for the host of angels that are here with us tonight. We thank you for the angelic host right now. We thank you, Lord, where you've commissioned and commanded them to go in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your shalom. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for your DNA. We thank you for the DNA of Yahweh. We thank you for the divine nature of our creator. We thank you for your divine nature that's divinely intervening tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you're bringing alignment. You're snapping things back into place from your throne of grace. You're snapping things back into place from your throne of grace. I hear you, Lord. You're snapping, snapping, snapping things back into its proper place in families, in families from your throne of grace. For things that have been dislocated, you're bringing it back into its proper place. What was lost will now be found. For the breaking of new ground. What was lost will now be found with the breaking of new ground. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. He cut it This is the ancient sound happening right now. Thank you, Lord, for those of you that have come on, just received that. That sound, that ancient Hebraic sound is going into every cell, is going into every cell, body, soul, and spirit. Snapping everything back into its proper place, snapping everything back into the Father's formation. Glory be to God. Okay, now we are going to shift. We are going to shift with this word and this new sound and this new key, striking these keys, striking these keys, accessing new doors, new realms for what God is regenerating, what God is rejuvenating, what God is bringing forth, what God is rebirthing in the earth. Praise God with his prevailing winds. say to the nations tonight, my prevailing winds are blowing. Get ready, be steady, steadfast, steadfast, for my prevailing winds are blowing. Get ready, stand steady, stand firm, for my prevailing winds 
are blowing in through Passover as I, the great I am that I am, passes over. From coast to coast, from nation to nation, watch how I deal with this great injustice in this situation. Watch how I strike the coasts, the Gulf Coast, the Pacific Coast, the Atlantic Coast. Watch how my people begin to coast through what will be catastrophic towards my enemies, says Elohim. From coast to coast, coast to coast, from sea to shining sea, my prevailing winds, my trade winds, for my word shall prevail, and my people, my ecclesia shall set sail. On the wind of my spirit, my prevailing winds. For do you not see and do you not know that I am the living word and the way that I orchestrate my word, my alphabet, for I am Alpha and Omega. For in the word wind is the word wind, wind.
you need to drop it, you need to let it go, where my river will flow, where my word will work it out, and there will be no doubt, no striving, no struggling, no striving, no struggling, let it go, let it go, let it go, tonight, tonight, if you want to take flight, in my wind, in my wind, above the storm, I'll perform my works, I'll perform my miracles. Let it go, what you're holding on to, let it go. Yeah. 
waving you in, waving you in with his prevailing wind. in my 
my ways not on the shoreline only on the front line not on the shoreline only in my ways only in my ways my prevailing wind is only in my ways it's only in my ways promise I keep, every promise I keep, it is only in the deep, it is only in the deep, every promise I keep, every promise I keep, it is only in the deep, it is only in the deep, my prevailing wind, my prevailing wind, it is only in my ways, it is only in my ways, and I'm waving now. I am waving to you. I'm waving now. I am waving to you. Come out, come out, come out into my deep, into my deep, only in my ways, only in my ways. My wind, my wind blows only in my waves, only in my waves, my wind, my wind blows, only in my waves, only in my waves. On the front line, on the front line, not on the shoreline, no. Right now, Jesus, the living word, the living water, is calling you, he's calling you, his son and his daughter. Every deceptive. 
plaintive voice drowned out, drowned out every demonic voice in the ways, in the ways, in the ways. Break your people in a beautiful way. Presence, Christ. 
literally see Jesus out on the waves, out on the body of his waters, his living waters. He is the living waters. He is the prevailing wind. He is the great I am. I am the wind. I am the wave. I am the word. And I can see Jesus waving. He's waving. And with every new wave, he's awakening a craving. Right now the Lord says for those of you that are here, you're going to feel it in your belly. You're going to feel it in your belly right now. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. Some of you are going to literally hear a stomach growl. Some of you are going to feel it. You're going to feel a burn right in the very center, in the very core of your belly. A new craving where he's waving out. He's waving to you in the waves. Come, 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 come.
And the Lord said to me earlier today, he said, plates are shifting, plates are shifting, continental plates are shifting. And he says, plates are shifting. On my table, at my table, plates are shifting. Oh, what I'm serving to you on your plate. Oh, a new craving. I'm putting a new craving inside of you for your kingdom mandate. I'm putting a new craving inside of you. Oh, where I'm waving to you, calling you out into the deep that I am. Prevailing wind, my prevailing wind is only 
on the sea, it's only on the sea, face to face, face to face, only on the sea, only on the sea, in the face of my deep.
Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you for the many, for the many that are doing an about face. For the many, for the many, for the many, for the many that are doing an about face. In the body, in the body, in your body, in your body, an about face, an about face. See 
from the great physician. Open heart, open heart, open heart surgery. Open heart, open heart, open heart surgery. You're gonna deal with, you're gonna deal with all the perjury. With the open heart, open heart, open heart surgery. Oh, this great incision from the great physician. Oh, pulling many, many, many out of the valley of indecision. that you're waving, awakening a new burning, awakening a new craving. Greatly increased upon the earth. 
covenant. And for some of you, I hear the Lord saying, you don't need to covet. You don't need to covet when you have a true covenant with me. You won't covet. You won't covet what is in your neighbor's house. You won't covet what is in someone else's house when you have a true covenant with me. And that is one of his ten commandments. Do not covet. That's a sin. But see, when you enter in to my prevailing wind and you embrace a true covenant with me, you will no longer covet what is in your neighbor's house. You will enter in to my storehouse. You will see what I have in store for you and what I want to restore to you. But you must end the covenant. This is a very serious word for some of you right now. You lack nothing when you truly live in Christ. And he shall supply all that you need above and beyond what you could ever imagine that comes from his storehouse.
March the 10th. And my God, the Lord is speaking so strong. I mean, all I can see in the heavenlies is my prevailing. Thank you. 
thank you so much for what you're doing in us. We thank you for what you're doing in our households. We thank you for what you're doing in our families and our loved ones and our friends. We praise you for your prevailing wind. Begin to say this, say this out to the Lord. Father, I love you. I worship you. I adore you. I thank you so much for what you're doing in my life. I thank you for what you're doing in my household. I thank you for what you're doing in my family, in my loved ones, and in my friends with your prevailing winds. And then we're going to say it again. Father, we bless you. We adore you. We honor you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you for what you're putting on our plate. We thank you for this new craving that is burning within our inner man, burning in our soul to heal and make us whole. We thank you for what you have called us to partake of, what you're serving us on our plate. And it will not taste sweet, but bittersweet like a bitter herb that is necessary to heal and prosper us that we may be in good health, in great health. We thank you for this that you're doing within us. We thank you, Lord. We see you waving. We see you waving. We see you. We see what you're saying to us in our personal lives, what you're commanding us to do in about face. Some of us have been facing the wrong direction and we need your sweet divine correction. And so Lord, we thank you, Lord. We honor you. We will yield and we will submit to your command. We will do an about face to face the right direction to come into the face of the deep where we're diving in to your divine nature and your divine ways. And we're diving into your prevailing winds. And we thank you for your breath, the breath of Aleph that anchors us, that sustains us, that establishes us, that rebuilds us, that empowers us. to honor your voice, to proclaim your voice of many waters throughout the earth, to decree your living word from your living waters. Oh, in the face of the deep. We come before you, Lord. We lay before you, Teach us how to come and to lay at your feet where we will no longer suffer defeat. Begin to minister to minds and hearts tonight, Lord. Oh, and in households right now, Lord, begin to move and sweep into households, sweep into rooms, living rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms. Begin to sweep in and brood over minds and hearts and families right now, right where they are begin to guide them and teach them how to come and lay at your feet to no longer suffer defeat in that area of their life anymore to no longer be bound in that sin anymore to no longer suffer and struggle in that place anymore to do an about face to face the right direction and to receive your sweet necessary correction partake of what is new on their plate, what is bittersweet like a bitter herb that cleanses the body, that will prosper the body to be in good health and prosper the soul to be in good health, that we might receive from your storehouse to see all that you have in store for us. Let them see, let them behold. Let them see on bended knee. Let them see laying at your feet. Oh, Lord, in 
let your breath guide them out into your wave, into your living waters, wave after wave. Let them experience your prevailing winds. Overnight 
reformation. I decree right now in the name of Jesus that you move in their neuron system, in their brain, that you move right now in every cell. God, pull them out of that cell. Pull them out of it right now in the name of Jesus. Every attack, every attack on their mind, every attack on their emotions, mental illness, you will not accept that diagnosis. You will not. Shoko, I hear the Lord say, you will not accept that diagnosis, but you will embrace your metamorphosis. You will embrace this metamorphosis. You will not accept that diagnosis. Grab a hold. 
hold of this right now. Even in Isaiah 45, God speaks. He says, I reveal hidden treasures in the darkness. I reveal hidden treasures in the darkness. That's the deep. That's the face of the deep. That's the secret place. Darkness doesn't mean evil. Darkness doesn't always mean evil. If you really listen to the to the to the revelation and, and what it really means when God speaks about revealing hidden treasures in the darkness in dark places what's secret is dark it's covered it's hidden it's covered at the surface of the deep where God wants to hover and brood and unlock and unearth that within you for a specific season and time father I thank you right now Lord I decree gold mines gold mines gold mines over your people gold mines over your people not just those that were suffering or uh, experiencing a demonic oppression in their mind. But those right now, those right now that are being led onto the front line from the shoreline, they're going to experience the gold mine. You're going to take them into the secret place and you're going to have them dig up and unearth what you have stored within their inner man. Oh, in the well, in the well, in the well, in the well, in the belly of the well. belly of the well there's a gold mine in the belly of your well there's a gold mine there's a gold mine there's precious stones in the gold mine it's in the deep and you dig it out of the rock out of the stone You gotta dig in the rock. You gotta unearth what comes out of the rock. And what comes out of the rock is what comes out of the solid rock that Christ Jesus is within you is his precious, precious stones that come out of the fire, that come out of the deep. His wisdom that is far greater, far more valuable than rubies and gems. This is what God means. If you look in the the book of Proverbs, you can see when God speaks and he gives his son's instructions. And he says, my wisdom, she is far more than, than rubies.
quietness and stillness right now.
a quantum leap we take flight in the light a quantum leap a quantum leap i want to dive in into the face of the deep